Jim Crack, director of GreenVetsLA.org, and I'm here to talk to you about our veterans training charity and our efforts to create jobs in Los Angeles. I'm also a disabled veteran myself and still serving my country. I founded the program to give our veteran heroes a chance to learn a trade, to join the workforce, to rejoin the society they once defended, and now to serve the community by saving the environment. Our veterans come from the West LA VA Hospital and as many as one in three homeless persons in Los Angeles are veterans. A sense of abandonment by society is a common problem for returning veterans. Our program is designed to help these heroes rejoin a team that is defending our environment and our community. The program began assembling medical kits for troops being sent into harm's way. But orders from, uh, for cloth reusable shopping bags coming in from cities like Santa Monica and organizations like Heal the Bay expanded our program and most importantly, created jobs for our vets. Sewing bags is labor intensive. When you give us an order for 100,000 cloth bags, you've just created jobs for 20 sewers for five to six months. One machine in a plastic bag factory employing only two operators will produce 100,000 bags in less than one hour. The number of jobs lost in the plastics industry will be dwarfed by the hundreds of jobs created here. And because locally... And because locally made bags are safer for our environment and our ocean, there has evolved a demand for bags created right here in Los Angeles in the dwindling garment district. My most important point today is this. Banning single-use plastic bags creates demand for locally made sewn bags, and that creates jobs. So, on behalf of our veterans, and our local garment industry source, I want to thank everybody here for supporting the band.